They are hair raising, spine tingling, jaw dropping, and in some cases just downright creepy. If you are in the mood for a good Halloween scare, CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch takes us on a tour of some of the tri state area's most spooktacular displays. Just one night until All Hallows Eve, and some are grilling up excitement of the creepy kind. <laughs> If the rats won't keep you from venturing up 87th Street, better beware the... Spiders! <gasps> Spiders! Were they scary? Yeah. There are ghouls, goblins, cannibalistic pumpkins, too. They rock. Tis the nightmare before Christmas on display in Suffer, New York. It's just a cool, cool thing to do, and everyone really digs it and gets everyone into the, into the season. It takes Brad Yerkeson two weeks to craft one crazed character out of plywood and paint. It all started with Jack Skellington. The biggest, the baddest, and the first. His daughter Sloan thinks Dad's creations are very cool. I'm so popular because everybody likes my decorations. From handcrafted to severed hands and heads in Paramus, this display seemingly meant to terrify all who dare to glare. For the faint of heart like myself, this Paramus display might be more your speed. How about Elmo? giving some pumpkins a hug. But you know what? There are still some things here that will get your heart racing. Hey, wait for me. I'm a big duck. Find more spook in the cemetery. It's the creator's favorite part of her annual display. Little things pop up, they light up, different things that scares the kids, but not too much, not overboard. Clinton Place in Hackensack is a fright fest. House after house offers scenes brimming with undead. This petite fairy princess says she can't be spooked. I'm not scared of them. <laughs> in search of the most spooktacular Halloween displays, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. I think she found them. I don't know, I'd run the other way. I'm very afraid. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to see your costumes and decorations. Send us your pictures at cbsnewyork.com. You can also post them on our Facebook and Twitter pages.